What's up everyone, Cheetah here, and today I'm bringing you an achievement walkthrough for Drone Gladiator on Windows 10. This game is published and developed by Flying Islands Team, and you can pick it up on August 27th for around $4.99, and it's a uh, super easy completion that will take you around 20 to 30 minutes, and the game will actually be releasing on Xbox One as well, but I don't have a uh, release date just yet for the Xbox One version, but hopefully it releases soon. So if you play uh, both versions of the game, you can get a total of 2,000 gamer score, and they will probably add an extra 1,000 gamer score later on, just like they did with the uh, Mushroom Quest games. So if you're playing on the uh, Windows 10 version, you can pause by pressing escape, and you can check out the uh, controls here over on the uh, left side. And real quick, I'm gonna show you guys the achievements. So starting off, we have to destroy 10 enemies, 50 enemies, and 100 enemies. And then you have to survive a total of 10 waves and then survive 40 waves. And again, this achievement doesn't have to be done in like one life. The achievement is accumulative. So you can survive 10 waves four times and that'll be the achievement for surviving 40 waves. So it's super easy. Don't worry. You don't actually have to survive 40 waves in one life. So then you have to uh, destroy the uh, Treader, which is the boss that spawns on wave 10. And he's pretty easy. And then you have to survive a random event. Uh, the, random, the random events start on wave four. And then you have to destroy five enemies with a uh, melee weapon, destroy 25 enemies with a ranged weapon, and then jump off the platform, which is the uh, swimmer achievement, which is what we're gonna do right now. So starting off, turn to the right, jump off this uh, platform here, and that's gonna get you the uh, swimmer achievement. Sadly, none of the achievements are gonna pop on screen since I've already completed the game. But uh, once you have that achievement there, you can go ahead and right click to open up the store. And I believe you can uh, start the uh, tutorial over on the uh, top left side if you want to. But personally, I'm going to equip a melee weapon on the uh, first page over on the left module. And then for the right module, on page number two, I'm going to equip the uh, machine gun. It looks like three little bullets. So equip a uh, melee weapon for the left side. And then for the right side, equip a machine gun. And then on page number three, there's going to be two shields here. Just go ahead and equip the uh, shield in the left module and the right module. And then from there, at the uh, top right side of the screen, you can go ahead and press start new wave. And starting off, we're going to get the achievement for killing five enemies with the uh, melee weapon, since that one's probably the uh, easiest. So go ahead and start the uh, new wave here. And uh, using your mouse one, you can go ahead and attack the uh, enemies with your uh, melee weapon. And you can also press Q and E to uh, reposition your shields in front of you to uh, block you from enemy attacks. So go ahead and kill that first enemy. And that's going to be the end of the wave just like that. And then from there, you can press mouse 1 to uh, start up the next wave here. And you're going to have to uh, jump up on this platform here since there's going to be some flames all around you. And basically, you just want to uh, complete all the way up until wave number 3. I'm going to edit it out since it's uh, pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy. Once you get to the uh, end of wave number 3, we're going to actually swap out the uh, melee weapon for another machine gun. So on page number 2, uh, for the uh, left module, we're going to click on the uh, 3 bullets. And equip a, uh, another machine gun. And then uh, next up on wave number four, we're actually going to have a uh, random event. And we need to survive this uh, random event for an achievement. So I believe there's three random events in total. For me personally, I got this uh, little mini boss right here. There's also another one where there's going to be some pink slimes that attack you. That one's also super easy. And then uh, for the other one, I believe it's like a little parkour event. And you have to do some uh, parkour. And that one gives you some upgrades. Careful not to uh, fall off the uh, parkour section because if you do you'll you'll die and you'll have to uh, restart all over again i believe you can actually just uh wait out the uh, timer during that section and then finally once you get to uh wave 10 you're gonna get a little boss fight which is the uh treader boss and uh don't forget in the store you can upgrade your machine guns if you want to but once you get to uh wave number 10 here you're gonna have this uh boss fight he's pretty easy just do uh circles around him dodge all of his uh bullets and eventually he will do like an area of effect attack where he slams the ground and you just have to uh, jump over it and once you defeat him you're going to get the achievement for defeating the uh, treader boss and then from there you should by now already have the achievement for getting 25 kills with the uh, ranged weapons which are the machine guns and your last achievement should be for surviving a total of 40 waves and if you want to get that one as soon as possible what i recommend doing is after you defeat the boss just go ahead and die you don't actually have to survive all 40 of the waves in one life or whatever so what I actually recommend doing is just uh, keep replaying the first five waves over and over again since those ones are sh super, super short rather than say like playing wave 11, there's going to be like 20 enemies that you have to kill. 
just die, replay the first five waves, and do that a couple times, and then eventually you'll have the achievement for surviving a total of 40 waves a lot faster than, say, if you played all the way up until wave 40. That would take you forever, but that's it. That's the uh, guide. You honestly don't really need a guide. The game is just super easy, but I figured I'd make one anyways, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video if it was helpful, and please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.